Hi, I'm Dr. Swarchla, Scientific Director with Siva Fertility Centers. Very often, couples who approach us for treatment for infertility ask us a very uh, basic question. How long should they try for pregnancy before they consult a doctor? So remember that with every passing year, the chance of success for a woman declines when they are 30. So as age advances from 30, the chance of success also keeps declining. That's because the egg quality also, the egg also goes down in quality and quantity. The number also comes down. Therefore, the chance of success also keeps declining uh, from 30. However, age is a very critical thing and also the number of you know months you have been trying for with unprotected intercourse. Remember that if you are under 30 and you have tried for a year and yet have not got pregnant, it's a good time to go and see a fertility specialist. But if you are above 30 and you've tried for six months with unprotected intercourse and have not been able to achieve pregnancy, for that age, for that age group, the rules are a little different. So please go and see uh, a fertility specialist if you're not able to get pregnant after six months itself. From, from that age, the, the mode of uh, treatment also changes. When you come at that age, the investigations, the criteria for treatment also changes. Therefore, it's very important that if you're above 35, to approach a fertility specialist immediately so that the problem is identified and treated. However, there are some indications which do not require you to wait till the age of 30 or 35. If you are having irregular or no menstrual cycles, it is a good uh, indication that you should immediately go and see uh, a doctor and try to get treatment for it. You are suffering from endometriosis, that is the indication for it is extremely painful periods, irregular cycles, uh, bleeding between two periods. So if you have something like this, you know, indications that tell you that you are having endometriosis, then also you should not wait for this age group of 30 or 35 to go see a fertility specialist. If you are having a history of uh, pelvic inflammatory disease, that is if you have, uh, you know, infectious uh, cycles all the time, also you need to consult your doctor because if you have PID, pelvic inflammatory diseases, it has an effect on the entire reproductive system. It could be your tubes, it could be your endo endometrium or the ovaries and eggs. So it's very critical that if you're suffering from recurrent infections uh, of the pelvis area, uh, then you have to definitely go and meet your fertility specialist. Then if you uh, on previous investigations have been advised that you, uh, you know, have tubal damages or you have uterine problems, abnormalities in your uterus or have uh, tubal blockages or there has been a damage from a previous surgery, also you should just get a second opinion to rule out any side effects from the previous um, occurrences that happened. So that is also a very critical thing for you to remember that you should not wait until 30 or 35. Then if there has been a, a history of miscarriages, if you've had you know recurrent miscarriages or if you have had uh, um, IVF cycles, if you've had test tube baby uh, you know, procedures done, if you've had IUIs done and you're not able to conceive also, it is called as recurrent implantation failure. When embryos have been put in and you did not get pregnant, also you need to consult a fertility specialist because then we need to find out what is wrong with your eggs or the, your partner's sperms or the subsequent embryos that are formed. So it's very critical to do an, an in-depth analysis because it the problem could be arising from genetic abnormality so if there is a genetic abnormality in either of the two partners or there is a history of genetic abnormalities running in the family could be uh, any of uh, the you know uh, uh, problems which are leading to miscarriages or not having children for a long time these are problems that you should uh, not be facing and not go to uh, a, a doctor you, these are problems that you should not be neglecting. You should be going to a doctor immediately so that they can help identify where the problem is and give you a treatment for it. If you want to understand more about the factors that I have mentioned, please contact us, get an appointment and come and meet us. Thank you.